it's me again, Lainey, and today we are here in Alabang Town Center. I'm gonna show you a special project that I did here. I'm actually very excited to share this video with you guys because this project is very special to me. So without further ado, let's go inside my bag! Okay, so actually this project is very special to me. It's very close to my heart. And the reason for that, syempre, just like all my other projects, um, and daming sacrifices, uh, lahat naman yan pinaghirapan ko. But um, one reason also is because this project came to me uh, very unexpectedly. It was like, it, it was a blessing na uh, super unexpected. So I'll tell you the story muna. Um, the first time I saw Obag, hindi ko pa talaga siya kilala. Um, I was having a meeting in Verti Small in Quezon City with my husband. We were having a meeting with uh, another client because we are being commissioned to do a restaurant in Bubulong ko lang sana eh. Charot. <laughs> in Vancouver, Canada. But yun. Anyway, that's another story. So yun nga, nagmi meeting kami. And then when our meeting was over, the restaurant where we were dining, ang katapat niya na store is o oh, bag. So, syempre, I mean, babae, mahilig sa bag, you know. Nagtingin-tingin ako dun sa store, but I didn't really go inside. Nakita ko lang yung display, you know, all the beautiful color palettes. Um, and I was thinking, you know, the bag was really beautiful. So, yun na siya. That was my first date with Obag. And then the second time naman, I was in, this was like a few months later down the road, um, I was in Uptown in BGC. And then nakita ko na naman siya, nagparamdam na naman siya sa akin. So, <laughs> this time, I actually went inside the store. Tapos, um, nag-inquire na ako, ganyan, what is it made of? Um, that was my second date with Obag. Little did I know that a few months later, um, I got a call from the owner of Obag. And then, um, sabi niya, gawin ko yung mga modules nila sa store. Um, actually, yung owner pa, we were, our first few conversations was, nasa Italy pa siya nun, Viber Viber lang ganyan. So, like, you know, sabi niya, can I call you? Siyempre ako naman like, the. Siyempre, no? So, dun kami, nag-usap nag na kami. And then, um, we got into negotiations. Nagsabit ako ng proposal. Hindi yun, na-approve na. So, I got a contract. So, that is, yun, that's my love story with Ova. Oh. And, mention ko na rin, si Mamang Pokwang yung nag-refer sa akin kay, kay Sir Albert, yung owner ng Ova. So, yun. Thank you so much, Mamang. And thank you, Sir Albert, <laughs> for the opportunity. I feel really blessed. Maraming maraming salamat. Like I said, with any projects naman that I do, I put my time and effort, syempre, 100%. Well, 101% kung, or 101% if you want to put it that way. A lot of sacrifices. Um, syempre, here, lalo na sa mall, uh, for those of you who do not know, working here, tatayo ka ng, if you're constructing sa mga mall, after hours yun ginagawa, hindi mall hours. Kasi syempre, like the inconvenience na, you know, sa mga mall goers, hindi pwedeng maingay, makalat, you know. So, gabi kami nag install So, syempre, I had to leave my kids at home, you know. I actually made a post about it. No, one time na we were installing here, I made an Instagram post um, about that night when I was going here for installation and I had to leave my three girls at home. So, yun. So, very sad sila. They were crying. But, um, you know, I explained to them nga that mommy has to go to work and yeah, this is it. I mean, ito yung bunga ng paghihirap ko. So again, encouraging everyone, um, all the moms out there, all the entrepreneurs like me, laban lang, you know, yung mga little sacrifices, it will surely pay off. Okay, so I'm gonna show you around the store and papakita ko sa inyo all the modules that we did here. So actually, just a brief background. Um, Obag is actually from Italy. Um, but so dalawa na ngayon branches nila dito, and then they're expanding because the products are really good. When the owner got in touch with me, nga na isip niya kasi, syempre mas feasible if the modules will be coming from here na lang or dito na lang din siya ima manufacture instead of them um, getting it from all the way from Italy, and then it's just shipped here to the Philippines, diba? And I'm very happy, again, thank you, that they got in touch with us. So this one, ito yung unang-unang kong papakita sa inyo. This is the, um, 
pegboard. If you look at it, meron siyang mga holes and then meron siyang peg. So, this is a display board, obviously. The cute thing about it is yung peg, pwede mo siyang, ay, yung pinakailaman ko na talaga siya, yung display nila. Pwede mo siyang ipul, eto, tanggal, yan, si, okay, papakita ko sa inyo. You can pull out the peg and then, pasok mo kung saang level mo siya gusto ihan. Saan ko ba ito kayo? Dito ako kayo yan. Okay, so, para, I mean, yun, iba-iba siyang, I mean, my level, di ba? Um, and then, you know, the finish of this board is actually quite tricky, but thank you so much to our uh, highly skilled painters na achieve naman nila yung, yung required finish uh, ng store. So, I was saying this is very clever, right? Because, you know what? You can do this at home. One tip is, if you have a, a wall at home, like, let's say, in your kitchen or bedroom, uh, pagawa ka ng ganitong board, syempre sa amin, get in touch with us, Sammy Sashwer, in our Instagram and Facebook page. Or, you know, get in touch with me personally, Life with Lainey, I will answer your query. But yeah, pagawa ka ng ganitong board, and then, same idea, like, make holes in it, and then, we'll do a peg as well. Tapos, um, dun mo sabit, like, your bags, di ba? Or, sorry, like, your bags. <laughs> yung mga pots and pans, di ba? Kasi di ba may hook yun. And then, also, like, yung mga flatwares. Para pagka nagluluto ka, sandok, o, oh, kuha ka lang. Or, kaldero. Kukunin mo lang siya dun sa peg, di ba? So, yan. One tip. Very clever. Now, here, looking a little bit lower, dito sa board na to, you will see this running board. Um, this is made of veneer yung finish niya. And then, meron lang yung natural stain on top. And then, you will see all their drawers here. Papakita ko sa inyo. Ayan, you will see their... So, these are their storage uh, drawers. All their mga stocks, di ba? Tapos, actually, alam mo, soft closing to eh. Gusto kong pakita sa inyo. Uh, please know that we only use ISO certified hardware pag nagpagawa kayo sa amin. Um, so, we installed here yung mga soft closing na drawer system. Here, I'll show you. Okay, ito na talaga go. Ayan, there you go. Um, this is finished in Duco White. So, moving along the store. Um, yan, may mga platforms. Display platforms, and then, so, display shelf, you will see all stocks here, display shelves nila, and again, a lot of drawers here for storage, and then this um, huge display rack or display shelf also. Uh, ginawa din namin yan. It's finished in Duco White. And then behind me is the light box. Yan. You'll see here, yung counter, there's the um, long table here where they have their stocks as well. So this is the counter for the till. Same as the shelf that I showed you a while ago. So veneer din siya. And then just stained naturally. Tapos, this is finished in Duco White. Okay, so moving along. More display shelves. If you visit their other branches like yung Uptown and BGC Mall, basically the same yung mga modules nila. This one I really love because the combination talaga of wood and white, I don't think you can ever go wrong. It's so it's so calming to look at. There's something therapeutic about wood talaga. I mean, I don't know if you're like me, but if I go to shops or stores, kahit na nang tindahan na yan, and if I see like wood fixtures, mga modules, furnitures, I really take time to look at it. And then, alam mo yan, parang, I, I don't know, weird ba? But if you're like me, comment below and, you know, tell me what you think about but wood in general, the furniture, diba? But yeah, so see, it's so calming. Nakaka-relax talaga siya. And I think the idea is for the palettes of the bag to really stand out, diba? Kasi white and wood, yun nga eh. Ganda talaga. Okay, so more storage here at the bottom. Same drawers. This handle, if you look at it closely, pareho siya nitong veneer na to. Another tip for those who would like to have their another option for you is um yun nga tinan mo yung handle make it out of the same material as your cabinet. When I was instructed by Sir Albert to visit the Obag uh, store in Uptown and then he said the instructions he, he gave to me was like okay bisita ka doon and then look at the modules there para at least I have an idea diba of what I'm going to fabricate. Nung nakita ko nga ganito yung setup doon sa Uptown when I looked at the shelves sabi ko 
So, hanging siya, di ba? Parang floating. Siyempre, nang inan ako, sabi ko, sa, paano kaya yun nakabit? Of course, inaral ko nga. Because you're not gonna see any hardware if you look at it closely. So, if you wanna know how that is done, I can tell you that. Comment below and ask me. Okay, because if you look at it closely, hindi mo makikita um, how it was done. But I can tell you more about that perhaps in another video. So the platforms here finish in Duco White. Also on this side over here. And this round display table here. Finish in satin. Duco White. Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to watch out for the part 2 of this vlog that we will upload in the next few days. So for your interior woodwork needs, custom furniture, cabinetry fit out, and custom upholstery. So don't forget to visit us and like and follow our pages. That's the World of Sammy in Facebook and Instagram page. Also, please do follow me Life with Lainey also in Facebook and Instagram. Again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on new videos. Thanks again for watching. Bye! This is Lainey.